Hey, it's <coughs> it's got Iron Man 10 and kind of so this is Doki Doki Literature Club the second video <coughs> last time I kind of went a little bit farther than it was than it was supposed to I didn't realize the video stopped so it went a little farther okay I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. <laughs> eh? Don't say that. Don't make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess. <clears throat> hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. <coughs> Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. Anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? It's so stuffy. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. You take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. <laughs> fine, fine. It's a deal. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are t uh, at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. I mean, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Anyway, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I feel to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Asuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. If I were actually in this situation myself, I would just share it with my friend first. <laughs> Definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Man. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. 
I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, <coughs> maybe that's why. Because I've because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. <laughs> Are you sure you don't like it? Just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's an Iron Man poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. I'm really happy that just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Iron Man. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? <laughs> That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, the poems don't work. Unless I've got a little scroll bar on one of these sides, I don't remember. It won't let me see them. So... <laughs> Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. I can't answer just a little bit or two yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that, that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but next time I won't forget. Now I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess look, I look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? Oh. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down the list. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. <laughs> That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Again, with nothing on it. Because I can't see it. Yeah. I told you they weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? <laughs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that, I'm write that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. 
I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disher disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into that into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. You didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I'm just gonna keep going down the list. Hmm. Here he stares at the poem. <laughs> And then it passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so this, it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a, it might take Yuri a while to get used to a new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Alright, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through I ha and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable noticeable thing I recognize in the new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. But in other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the top topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and, ex and the ex expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it has, it's as if her demeanor has re totally changed. Her, stammer her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that, techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning, by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um... Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? <laughs> Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her, <laughs> which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't that this supposed to be a literature club? Can't read that one either. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? <laughs> I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Yeah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. Where's my mouse? Oh. <laughs> I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. 
Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Iron Man. Really? I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that, that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. And last but not least, Monica. <laughs> Hi, Iron Man. Having a good having a good time so far? Oh uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, have you ever had any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Iron Man. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you? It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when I when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into this into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. <laughs> but in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each, th to each their own, and you, should be, you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way you find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own, toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about m impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have st to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. There we go. <laughs> hole in the hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, a no yeah, a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. Peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retina's already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. 
It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if, it's, if that's what you call it. I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out, when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Ah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on, specific, on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just, so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Got about two minutes till it's gonna shut off. Phew, or end the video. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They genuinely exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective, respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? <laughs> eh. Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. And that's done about now, so please subscribe. I'm gonna save real quick. Save over this. Yeah. Okay, and it'll be, and it's just about done.